What up, Dokoners? We are going to be taking on the newest burst mode stage in Dokkan, and that is the Candy Mischief Majin Buu special Halloween thing. Now, what you're looking at is the end of a very long and annoying run with the Majin Power team with a pretty high score setup. So I just want to see this through in this video. And you're about to be very surprised. If you're coming into this cold and you have no idea what's going on with burst mode, get a load of this. Watch what's about to happen when I pick up these orbs. Oh, God! Ugh. Okay, but in doing that, we do trigger this. And uh, actually, I'm going to do that. We're going to disable enemy action. We get to heal. Take him out? Oh, and we took him out. Okay. All right. So, yeah, that was not a pretty run. And I will explain what happened in just a second. But I wanted to start this video off with that because I did just set a new high score on burst mode. So we're going to run through this with the Heavenly Events team. But what you just saw was a Majin Power run at seven, uh, at 6,230 points. It's uh, it's pretty annoying. If you try to do this the Majin Power route, it can be a little bit tough. So that's why we're going to start with the Heavenly Events one. So how burst mode works is it basically allows you to turn any random event into a red zone level threat or beyond by activating certain difficulty modifiers. How this works is you want to at least do the bare minimum of 6,000 points. If you do so, you clear all missions and you also earn burst mode coins, both regular and silver. The burst mode regular coins can be used to exchange for songs that you can equip to certain teams at certain windows in the game if you do care about Dokkan music. If you mainly care about not that, anything else but that, then these silver coins are what's going to help you because in this newest update, if you cover all of the missions, you will get the silver coins needed to get skill orbs, which we will be doing at the end of this video after we clear the missions. But in order to do that, you have to get 6,000 points minimum. You don't have to go beyond that. So if you just want to do the bare minimum, do that. And that's exactly what we are going to do. So we're going to start with Heavenly Events. AGL tech types are allowed. 400 team costs. All of these are activated. I'm going to eliminate AGL and tech since those are the two types we're going to be running. I'd rather not nerf my own units. Unfortunately, the unit's attack strength and defense strength are pretty high. As you saw at the beginning of this, you're only fighting one enemy. That tech boo is the only opponent. And this is a free-to-play event. So naturally, they have to scale things up accordingly. That's why you're seeing attack raised by 1,000. 300 multiple times if you really want to challenge yourself and if you really hate yourself enough you could do all these too but a thousand we're going to leave that defense three thousand we're going to leave that we're going to have all of these modifiers up at the top here uh i'm going to eliminate key minus three this is better suited for majin power and no items are allowed now this is the wild card new little perk that you've got so what you saw at the beginning of this video was this exact perk receives seven percent max hp as damage per candy obtained Normally, Halloween units heal you on candy. This is a perk that reverses it, which is actually very interesting. It flips the script. Same thing for this. If you pick up types that are the opposite of your unit. So, for example, if you're an AGL unit and you pick up like 10 tech orbs, you're going to take 3% damage per orb that you pick up. Very interesting stuff, and it does add a lot of points. So you do want to have these. You just got to be very mindful to avoid candy and to avoid opposite types. It does involve extra thinking. And occasionally, the candy could gang up on you like you did for me in that one moment. So you want to try to avoid that. Sometimes you might have to bite the bullet and get hit with some of the candy. But if you're strategic about it, it can work to your advantage. And it actually makes it kind of interesting. It adds a new wrinkle to the event. Now, we still have 110 points to spare. We don't need to do all of this. Of course, if you want to for bragging rights, feel free. But since my high score is already 6230, I don't need to worry about that. I'm going to lower his attack. I'm going to lower his attack. He's pretty scary. He hits really hard. So I'm going to lower his attack right there. And I'm going to lower the defense a little bit, too. That way we get to 6,000. So we're at 6,000 flat. And uh, everything else is pretty much set the way I want. So if you guys want to imitate this, feel free. I'll start from the top. Scroll down here. If you guys want to copy it, feel free to do so. I will tell you the MVP of this entire event is LR AGL Super Boo. Now, this is the second time that that unit has been the MVP of an event since his first release. And that release was very inconvenient because a lot of you probably didn't summon for the unit, which you shouldn't have. It was a pretty ill-timed banner right before the eight-year anniversary. But if you don't have him on your core team, you can run him as a friend unit. The friend unit being Super Boo is really all that you need because this guy has guaranteed guard. He has crazy attack potential and he guards for sure against Majin Buu Saga characters. So if he's on one of your rotations, as long as your other ones are relatively decent, you should be fine. Tech Fat Boo only attacks once per turn. Sometimes it could be a super, sometimes it could not be. And so if you get lucky, of course, you're going to do well. If you don't, you'll have to try again. But the good thing is, Stamina cost is low, 
and the RNG is relatively forgiving. I say that very loosely because for you, you could be the polar opposite of me. So this is our squad. Uh, you could basically just, it auto filters for you. You could pick whatever characters are available. Some of the better units to bring other than Super Boo, AGL Kid Gohan is a must. He's a defensive stacker. He's a key booster. So you can kind of use the key negative perk if you want. This guy also heals you 30% and gives you a guard. So he's very useful. AGL Kid Gohan, I would say, is probably one of the most important ones other than Super Boo. The free-to-play tech world tournament Kid Gohan Super Saiyan is also good. Early on, you could be a little bit risky, but eventually he gets good. 30% damage reduction against one enemy. He gets extra stats in the presence of a Goku's family character, which we have. LR Gohan is also good. He has guard too. He does have type disadvantage, but if he launches enough supers, he can give you some nice healing. He can also maybe hold his own. He's able to relatively uh he's able to hold his own relatively well early on anyway. He does take a lot of damage, but so does the Super Boo, but both have guard. So our team is this. If you don't have that Super Boo, you could throw on like uh I don't know. This Gotenks, you could throw on this Goku for some support. You could even throw on this Super Boo. He does heal, although he doesn't fit. Oh no, he does fit. Does he fit heavenly events? Actually, we should look into that. Uh heavenly events. Yeah, they all fit. What was I? Why did I do that? It automatically filtered by Heavenly Events. I'm so dumb. There's your 2-0 for the day. There you go. So, yeah, you can throw this guy on there. So, there's quite a few options Um, if you've been around long enough. If you haven't, well, then best of luck. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. If you can't do it, you just can't do it. If you don't have enough units, you just can't do it. There's nothing you can really do there. Of course, we've got both of the boos on the other rotation. That is literally the worst rotation I could possibly ask for. The three best units on the team are all on one rotation, which means two of them are going to be delayed, and then one of them is going to be benched for like three turns. All right, so here, since he's only attacking once, naturally your best option is going to be the Gohan. And with all of this candy, you are going to take a ton of damage. It is not advised that you do that. You're going to have to go for this. Uh, this you can do. Oh my gosh, look at all that candy that's building up. Oh, jeez. That's a lot. Don't super, don't super. Ah, oh, he's going to super. What is it, 300,000? 250,000. I think we would have died if we did that and the candy. Just saying. All right, so didn't do much there. But the most important thing is we got to raise defense and that too only once. So shout out RNG. Thank you. So you know what, this, this kind of balances out. This evens out. For the luck that I had getting to the point at the start of the video, you get to see some of the bad luck as well. This is horrendous. I'm already getting the heal. Are you serious? I mean, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do it. We're going to heal. We have guard for the turn. I'll just take the L. And uh, I'm also going to do this and take another massive L. So all of that damage that we just took... It's about to get healed, though, to be fair, because we're going to give it back to the Super Boo right here. As much as I hate that, it is very cool. I do like that candy damages thing. Those candy pieces are evil. We have guard, which is why I'm putting this guy in the middle, just to give everybody more links, more synergy. But ideally, you would put Super Boo in the way of the Tech Boo. Since he just supered, he's very unlikely to do it again, which he doesn't. Very good. Now, as you saw at the beginning of the video, the LR Super Boo does get an active skill of his own, which can cancel enemy action. And if it does, he can't move for the turn because he won't be able to do anything. He only has the one attack. So if you can get to that point, that is also very good. All right, I'm going to keep the tech guy benched. Let's do this and let's give the Gohan the opportunity to launch multiple strong attacks. I'm going to do this. And we're going to get a wee bit healing right here. Let's see how this goes. For the Super Boo, can be activated when HP is 60% or less starting from turn 5. If you can survive until turn 5 and you're below 60%, you will get... Really, man? Where are your additionals? Stupid. Super Boo. I mean, Gohan. Idiot. Alright, still hanging in. Alright, I'm, I'm leaving Super Boo in the middle. I'm going to put Gohan in slot. Oh, man. I need him to raise defense. I need him to heal us. All right, so we're doing that. Doing this. We're taking some heat. But next turn, next turn, we're going to be below 60% health. As long as the Boo doesn't super, 
We will survive until next turn, and then the other super boost shows up. We can use the active skill. And, surprisingly enough, that's the friend unit. So, that's actually good. Perfect. That's the kind of setup you would want. Yes. All right, we won. We won. We're going to get a 40% heal. We're going to cancel an enemy action for one whole turn. Oh, that's good. Actually, can we do both? Oh, wait, no, we don't have under 16. We can't. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and use this. Uh, what sort of links we got? All right. Let's go ahead and use it. We're going to cancel enemy action. We're going to heal by 40%. 3.4 million damage. Doesn't quite get the job done. Let's go ahead and sabotage ourselves real quick. Let's pick up all of these. Then we'll pick up this. And we'll pick up all of these. Look at that. Look at all the damage we just took. We just neutralized that heal. But it was just what we needed. So look, I did it on my first try. Yes, because I had two super boosts, so it made the run more consistent. If you don't have two super boosts, it might take you a couple more tries, but eventually you will get it. And that's the most important thing. And now we're done. We have finished all missions because I cleared this with Heavenly Events and with Majin Power at the same in the same video. So I have cleared all missions. So I'm actually going to go redeem them right now. We're going to go pick up those uh, Burst Mode Coin Silvers and we're going to go into the shop here. So we're just going to pick up all of these. That gives us a total of 400 silver coins. So let's take this into Jebaba shop. Let me just pick up Lemo real quick. Uh, we go to Treasure and here we go. So, wow, for 20 silver, you get a level five help, level five defense. Level five additional is 30. Oh, that's awesome. Category exclusive skill orb combo. This is for heavenly events, right? This is for Majin power. So I am going to go for additionals and dodges number one. Okay. So these cost 50. Okay. So I'm going to start by getting the, I'm going to start with the silver ones, the gold ones. I do get more frequently. So I'm going to start with the silvers. So that's for heavenly events and for uh, Majin power. So I'm going to buy this. That takes care of that. We oh, can buy twice. Yes, please. I am team additional all the way. Y'all know this. I love me some team additional. Let's buy both. Okay. I'm prioritizing silver because it's harder for those nice skill orbs to drop for me for silver. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that as well for this. All right. So now I've only got 160 left, which means I probably can't. Oh, you can only buy one copy of the golds anyway. All right, so I'm going to now have to decide. I can only buy three of these golds. So I am going to choose. Yeah, Kai's medals. I don't need any of this stuff. Oh, man. Orbs. No, no, no. Bigger picture. As much as you love orbs, Toon, resist. All right, I'm going to go for the additionals. I'm going to get both additionals. So let's do this one. I'm team additional, baby. Okay. And now that just leaves dodge. Am I going to go for dodge on Majin Power? Or am I going to go for dodge on Heavenly Events? I think I'm going to go for dodge on Majin Power because Majin Power eventually will get a really nice 200% lead. So let's just go for that. And that finishes out all of my points except for 10. I can't use any of those for skill orbs. So I could only use them down here. Can I use them for orbs? Oh, I can. Okay. Um, I'm going to buy small STR orbs. All right, there we go. All right, so that is it. So like I said, all you have to do is cover all the missions. You will earn the 400 uh, silver coins. You can spend them here for skill orbs, and then the rest will be converted into regular burst mode coins, which you can then use to buy items or music from this shop right here, which I frankly don't care about. So I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to keep stockpiling those points until they eventually give us something with it. Maybe, maybe they do, maybe they don't. I don't know, but that's pretty much all I'm going to do. And that is burst mode. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments what sort of score did you get on this burst mode event? The Majin Buu Candy Mischief one. Was this easier or more difficult for you global players, or actually JP players too, than your most recent other burst mode? For global players, it was Turles. For JP players, what was your most recent burst mode? Was it more tough than that? Let me know. Let me know your strat. Let me know your MVP in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future. And... Click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned and I'll return to Dokkan responsibly.